Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this countdown timer using HTML and CSS. And then in the next video, we will use JavaScript to make it work. And then we'll also add it to our Blogger website. So let's get started. As always, I'll be using VS Code to write the code. And I have opened up a project called Countdown Timer. So let's create an HTML file and we'll name it index.html. We'll also create a CSS file and we'll name it style.css. Alright, let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, you have this option of just typing exclamation and pressing tab and you'll get this HTML file boilerplate code. Let's link our CSS file over here. And uh, let's start by creating a division to contain everything and we'll call it countdown container and in that we'll have a heading with a class of countdown heading and here we'll type huge discount and then we'll have a paragraph and we'll give it a class of countdown details And we'll just type sale ends in. Now we need to create the timer. So we'll just have a division with a class of timer. And uh, in that we'll have a division with a class of number. And uh, in that we'll have some number. So I'll just type 0, 2. And then we'll have another division with a class of unit. And here we will type days. So let me just open this with live server and uh, let's see how it looks. So this is our countdown timer as of now. And now we need to have four of these numbers and units because uh, one is for the days, then we have hours, minutes and seconds. So we'll create a division called days and uh, we will just wrap it around these two divisions. And now we'll copy this uh, days division and uh, we'll paste it three more times. And for the second division, we will give a class name of hours. And I will just change this number and uh, instead of days, we will type hours. And then in the third division, we will type the class name as minutes. And I will change this number as well. And we'll change dates to minutes. And lastly, we have seconds. So we'll change the class name to seconds. We'll just type some value over here and here we'll type seconds. Now the last thing we need to do is uh, have a button. So outside our uh, timer division, we will have an anchor tag and we'll give it a class of countdown button. And in the href, you can type the link of your product. But uh, for now, I'll just type hash. And uh, here we will type purchase. So that's basically it with the HTML of our countdown timer. Now let's go to our style.css and let's style this page. The first thing we'll do is target the countdown container. And uh, we'll give it a background color of B6E8FF. And we'll also give it a padding of 24 pixels and the color of the text to 1D3357. We'll also change the font family to Roboto sans serif and uh, we'll set the width to 500 pixels and we'll also set the box sizing to border box so that uh, the width is calculated correctly and uh, then we'll have margin 0 auto to set it to the center. We'll also give it a box shadow of 0, 4 pixels, 22 pixels, minus 8 pixels RGBA. 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.6. Now let's target the countdown heading. So countdown container countdown heading. And uh, for that we will just text align it to center. And uh, font size of 32 pixels. And margin of 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. Then we'll target the countdown details. So countdown container count down details and we'll set the text align to center. 
Now let's style the timer division. So we'll type timer and uh, we'll give a background color of 1D3357 and the color of the text to F1FAEE and we'll also give a padding of 16 pixels and uh, display to flex so that uh, the items will be one beside the other. We'll set the justify content to space between. Now we can see that we have even space between each of these elements. Now we'll text align everything to the right and uh, set a border radius of 10 pixels. All right, now let's target the number inside the timer. So we'll just type timer number and we'll set the font size to 56 pixels and the font weight to bold. And for the timer unit, we will set the color of the text to A8DADC. Now let's style the button. So here we'll type countdown button and uh, we'll give a background color of DC2E2E and we'll set the text decoration that is the underline to none and uh, also set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom 32 pixels left and right and we'll set the display to block and also a margin top of 32 pixels and we'll set the color of the text to F1 F A double E we'll also set the font weight to bold and we'll also text align it to the center now in our original design we can see that uh, the button stretches all the way to the container so if you go to our design we can see that in our countdown container we had given a padding so all the elements inside the countdown container has this padding so if you want to get around the padding and uh, stretch this button to the whole container division then you have to give a negative margin to your element so in our countdown container we have a padding of 24 pixels so we have to give negative margins of 24 pixels. So here we can see we have a margin top of 32 pixels. So we want a margin of 32 pixels to the top. But for left, right and uh, bottom, we need margins of minus 24 pixels. So we'll just remove margin top from here. And here we will just type margin. And for top we have 32 pixels. For right we will have negative 24 pixels. For bottom we will have negative 24 pixels and for the left we have the same margin so now we can see the button stretches all the way to the edges of the container now we'll also have a hover animation so for that we will type countdown button colon hover and we'll change the background color so we'll type background and we'll change the color to E03F3F and we'll also add a transition over here to have a smooth animation and uh, we'll select the background color and we'll give a timing of 500 milliseconds right now when we hover over this we have this color changing over here all right so that's basically it with the design of our countdown timer in the next video i'll show you how to use javascript to make this work and then we'll also add this to our blogger website so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day